Hey, it's Ollie, and welcome to the second day of uh, my project to learn to read and write Chinese characters. Uh, in the first video, I talked about this book, which is the uh, Remembering the Hanzi by Heisig and uh, Richardson, and I talked a little bit about why I chose that that book. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the methodology behind it and uh, how I've been um, experiencing it. Now, the book is divided into about fifth, about fifty lessons, and in each lesson, there is uh, there are about 25, 20, 25 new Chinese characters and what you're expected to do is to go through one lesson in one day and to learn those 25 characters. Straightforward. How do you learn those characters? Well, they use an approach that's based on mnemonics. So, let me give you an example. Um, we could take um, the word for, give something that has a, that kind of makes sense. Um, let's take this word here, now you're going to be seeing this in reverse I'm afraid, but this is the character whose meaning is spring, as in the spring of water, right? And on the face of it, um, the character is, well, it's a very nice character, um, but you might think it's quite complex to write. Well, the first step in this approach is to break the character down, and so for those of you who know, you'll see that you start off with the character for white, and then you add the character for water on the bottom, and that's what gives you the complete character for spring. Now, how do you remember that? Well, in this case, this is a very clear mnemonic. Imagine a spring, so you've got water gushing out of the ground, and you can probably imagine that it's got, got this white foam on the top, and um, that's a spring, right? So this character is very literally white water, um, just like a spring. And so in this case, you've got a very clear mnemonic, and so if I ever now wanted to write the word for spring, all I've got to do is to remember, okay, what's a spring? Okay, spring is, gushes up, it's got, it's got that white foam, it's white water, and then I can write the, the part for, for white and for water, that gives me the character. That's the fundamental approach. Um, I'll give you another example. Um, for example, this character, which is given the meaning of to summon. Now, we've got two parts here. We've got a dagger or a sword at the top, and then a mouth at the bottom. Now, to learn this, the mnemonic that I've used to learn this is, okay, when do you summon somebody? You probably summon somebody to court, to give evidence, right? And maybe they don't want to come. So what you've got to do is you've got to force them at knife point to come and talk in court. That's what summoning is. And very clear mnemonic in that way. So you've got to, got to use your imagination and your powers of uh, association to create these stories around the characters. And basically, you can the whole point behind this book is you continue that methodology through the whole thing, and then by the end of it, you've got uh, 1,500 characters. And then book you then go on to book two, uh, where you've got another 1,500 characters. Now, I've been going through this now for some time, um, covered quite a few lessons already, and um, I have to say, it's been extremely effective. The question is going to be, or right, well, what happens, well, two questions. Number one, what happens later on? Do, how well do I retain these you know, one day, one week, one month later? And two, do I start to confuse these mnemonics when characters start to get more, more difficult and complex, like, uh, like some of these characters you can see here <laughs> in the corner? That remains to be seen, but so far so good. Um, I have managed to my mind seems to gravitate quite nicely towards these mnemonics and they're sticking in my head so far. So, there we go. That's the idea behind this book.